What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over how you can get all four fossil Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield. The four Pokemon that we're going to be going after are Dracozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovish, and Arctovish. The four Pokemon that can be restored from fossils. They work much differently than they did in previous games where you would have one fossil and that gives you one Pokemon. Instead, you need to find half of a fossil and that gives you half of a Pokemon. You can totally get all four Pokemon in one game, it's just gonna be a little difficult. Now, to that of my understanding, by default, in Pokemon Sword, you're going to find the bird fossil and the dino fossil inside of the glistening item encounter table in the wild area, especially in the dusty bowl where rare bones and fossils are more predominant. And if you're playing Pokemon Shield, then you're more likely to find Drake fossils and fish fossils. In addition to that, on Route 6, there is a chance you could find fossils there as well. And there's a very good chance that you're playing Pokemon Sword or Shield and you have one of the fossils and you have no idea how to restore the other. So to put it in perspective on screen, you can get the other two fossils that are less common for your game. It's going to cost you. This is the digging duo. These are the two guys who are standing kind of right outside of the breeder in the wild area. Not that guy over there. These two guys right here. And they're unique because the one on the right is more likely to get you not as good of loot and more items. The one on the left is more likely to get you better items but not as many of them. So I did about 40 minutes of testing between the two digging brothers. And if you were to spend 20,000 watts, I don't see too much of a difference. However, if I just have to say gut feeling, I would say go for the brother on the left just because he was able to get me the first fossil that I needed of a specific type faster. So it might be superstition, there might be something to it, but if I say if you're looking for just the two individual fossils that are not more predominant in your game, go for the guy on the left. Again, it's all completely random, so best of luck. But bottom line is you can have all four of the fossils in one game without trading. Granted, you can totally trade and save yourself a lot of watts. Like if you have people to talk to and play this game with, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. In order to restore the fossils, make your way to Route 6, where you'll clearly see where it says Fossil Restoration. By the way, pro tip, if you speak with people who have a camp set up on a route, that is how you make a fast travel point to that route. So from the camper, which if you don't know where the camper is, you need to go up this ladder. This is to the left of that lady who's walking around on the right. See her? <gasps> Head up here, and if we speak with her, her name is Kara Liss. And we get to choose which head we want, either the bird or the fish. So I'm gonna choose the bird. And we get to choose what body we want. I'm gonna choose the dino. If you're playing Pokemon Sword, this is the most likely combination of fossils that you have chosen, and you're going to be getting yourself Arctozolt. Arctozolt, which is electric and ice, it's clearly an electric Pokemon that should not be stuck inside of an ice Pokemon's body, and I feel so bad for it, we should put it out of its misery. If you're only playing Sword, if this is the only fossil you found, and you're probably not thinking it's too amazing. If you're playing Pokemon Shield, you most likely have a fish fossil for the head, and a Drake fossil for the body. That is going to be giving you Dracovish, which is a water dragon Pokemon. Oh God, this is what nightmares are made out of. This is the head and then some creepy tie-dye thing here in the middle. And once you start trading your fossils or using the digging duo in order to get the additional fossils, then you're able to combine the bird from sword and the Drake from shield and you get yourself Dracozolt which is the little electric head on side of the big dragon body. And it looks like the dragon body was just literally cut in half and you just have this little guy hanging out of the, the front half. And he's like, I mean, he's not freezing to death, which is nice for him, but still like, how does he eat? Like think of how much that little head needs to eat in order to fuel that lower half of the body. And the other combination is having the fish head and the dino body. And that's Arctovish, which honestly looks the most coherent out of all of them. I have no complaints about this. 
until you read its Pokedex entry. These four fossil Pokemon are found between number 374 and 377, right after Ditto and right before Charmander. I don't know if they're any good in combat, like battling or anything, because I found them after I was done with the game. You get them all level 10. Strong Jaw is a dope ability. Hustle. Ice Body. These are all pretty good abilities. Not gonna lie, Volt Absorb. Water and Ice is a pretty common typing. Cloister and Lapras. Electric and Dragon. Zekrom? Yeah, it was Zekrom. Also Mega Ampharos, that doesn't count. Water and Dragon, like Kingdra. And Ice Electric, I think that's new. Rodom? Frost Rodom is Ice Electric, but this is the first Pokemon that's Ice Electric by default. But Electric Dragon is pretty cool. And Electric Ice is really cool too. I haven't looked up their weaknesses or anything. For all I know, they're weak to everything. But yeah, if you're playing through and you're on this route and you have some of these fossils and you can restore them and use them on your team and you enjoy them, go for it. If you're gonna get this for the Pokedex, throw them into a box and forget about them, then great. All done. Guys, if this video was helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.